Kim nonstop and it's time for another seated workout. Why? Because I'm injured and I can't do my regular cycling workout. So you guys are gonna come along with me on a little modified version. Things you're gonna need for this, uh, a place to sit with preferably no back, cans if you have them. I got the new Red Bull can I'm gonna be using and weights if you have them. Now, wait, before you turn this off, if you don't have any of those things, stay tuned. You can still do this whole workout with no equipment. So let's get started. Knee has extremely limited mobility. This is about as much as I can bend it. So I'm sitting on a, a table. I'm setting my interval timer to one minute intervals. So everything we do is one minute long. And yes, you guessed it, it's 10 moves. So we're gonna get started with some seated wacky jacks. All right, here we go, press and start. All right, so seated wacky jacks are like this. And you're gonna keep your torso moving. Think about touching your elbow to your hip bone and reach and reach and reach. And you're doing this for one minute. So essentially, at the end of that minute, you are going to be fairly warmed up. And make sure you're reaching nice and high. I know my arms are a little out of frame, but you guys get the gist. I am reaching up, creating these arcs with my arms. And it's really challenging my obliques. You can see them working because I'm essentially swinging all of my weight around. We got 13 seconds left, and then we're gonna switch to some warm up punches. So get ready to switch two punches. Reach, 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 get those last few in there and twist. Oh man, this is a long 30 seconds. Okay, punch it. Quick punches. Now, you can use your cans for this if you have your cans in reach, which I do. I'm my rebel cans. Ooh, this is making some swishing sounds. I think I should not open these after this workout. I should wait a while, yeah? Okay, so punching, 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 punching. And you can do a lacrosse. Get some power into those. Straight out, straight out. Quick, 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 quick. Up a little bit. Ooh, I feel that. Straight out. Keep it going, keep it going. Ooh, I gotta try to see my next move. Oh yeah, roll and reach. So the next move, get ready to put those. Keep those cans in your hand if you have them. And if you don't have the cans, you can just keep going with your arms because I know punching with my arms is good enough. Abs tight, core tight, and keep that speed. It doesn't really matter as long as you keep it nice and fast. Jab, 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 jab. Uh, one minute is a really long time, guys. Okay, this is row. You lean forward, row, and then reach. Row, reach. So you drop down, pull it up, reach. Drop down, pull it up, reach. Drop down, pull it up, reach. Drop down, pull it up. So you're activating your back on that row. It's not a bicep curl, guys. You have to hinge at your waist. So you have to lean forward, and then lean forward, row, reach. Lean forward, row, reach. Lean forward, row, reach. Keep that core tight. And your chin kind of tucked so that you're not going like this, right? We don't want to be doing that. Um, you just tuck, tuck your chin a little bit, keep a nice long neck. Try to speed it up a little bit. Yep, that's it. Nice and tall, reach. Okay, these are double diagonal punches. So reaching up, double, 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 double. And the double, it kind of like messes with your torso a little bit because it keeps you from swaying as you start to get like, you know, a pendulum. It forces you to sort of double back, tighten up that core, and set your body straight so that you don't topple over, you know, or lose your balance. So the whole time you're doing this, you're really activating the core quite a bit. I'm punching up. And of course, the heavier the cans or the heavier the weights, the better in this instance. Four, come on, keep it up. You've got 10 seconds left. I said four, like that was optimistic. I thought it was like four seconds left and then I looked at the clock. Come on, and good. We're gonna keep those cans in our hands and it's a torso twist. You 
kind of do it. I dream a genie and then you row down and back up, down and back up. Yeah, it looks crazy, but oh my god, it works. And again, the heavier the weights, the heavier the cans, the harder it is. And reach. And down. And dip. Make sure you breathe while you do this because the exhale on the effort, you're really gonna support your back. What's nice about these cans is that they're nice and cold. Which is helping because it's hot in my living room. Sweating. Uh, just trying to keep my feet together so as not to bother my knee all oh, right now. Jump the abs in. We got 10 seconds left. Get ready to put those cans down, guys. We're gonna put them down and use them to tap. Sit it down, keep dipping, good, put the cans down. So we're gonna touch and touch and touch and touch and touching the cans on the ground. I'm feeling this in my obliques like whoa. So one minute of every move, you already know that. You can watch the countdown on the screen. If you're starting to feel a little burnt out, just keep in mind that the move will switch at the end of this one. And on the last two, I'm gonna make you guys pick those cans back up. Oh yeah, that's right. We are picking them back up. So get ready, you've got 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, Three, two, and pick up the cans. And on either side, you've got two cans now, and you're gonna go diagonal up and down. So this is one minute, and then we've got another minute on the other side. And try to get a little quicker with these. Yeah, all kinds of like creepy breathing coming out of my mouth right now, which I'm so glad I'm mic'd for, you guys can hear it. Extra bonus if you get your head to follow your hands, head to follow your cans, while you twist, keep it going. Twist it and go full range of motion, chin all the way up. Twist, squeeze your knees together, trying to keep your legs straight forward, especially if you're trying to heal any injury with limited mobility. We are not trying to make my knee any worse today. I'm just trying to keep my heart rate up, break a little sweat, switch directions, and you know, work the abs because it's summertime. As you can see from the cans, it says summer edition. So, if you're watching this in the winter time, you're a little late. Reach and twist. Twist up. Twist up and reach. Oh man. Ooh, feeling it. Try to speed it up a little bit if you can without getting sloppy. The moment your knees, your legs start wobbling everywhere, unless you don't have control over them, you should be able to keep them still. If you are in a wheelchair, you can strap down the legs. That is helpful to maybe give yourself some more leverage so that you can twist a little further without shifting in your seat. Breathe through this. And at the end of this move, and we're gonna put those cans down, I think, and put our hands down on the bench and try to lift. Knees, hold this, hold this, hold this, and lower. And then do it again. Two, three, four, lower, up. Two, three, four, lower, up. Two, three, four, lower, up. Two, Oh my god, one minute of these is gonna kill. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. If you can't lift yourself, push into the bench as hard as you can. Because I promise you will still feel a burn. Lower. Up. Two, three, four. Lower. Up. Up. Two, three, four. Lower. Up. Two, three, four, lower, and up. Good, good. Grab those 
hands one more time, and we're gonna do a fly up, lower. It's like a, it's like a butterfly stroke. Good. Fly up. So you're leaning slightly forward, and you're reaching with all you got, and trying to extend your arms again, keeping your chin tucked. Nice long neck. Engaging your abs. Oh, reach. And reach. And the heavier the cans, the harder it is, of course. So, of course, I got my 12 ounce. 12 ounce cans for these because the little ones were too easy for my guns. And all the way up. Good. Reach. Again. Out. In. Uh, and now we take it back to the wacky jacks. That's it for the seated workout today. You can repeat this workout for 20 minutes. It's a 10 minute routine as it stands. You can use any cans or hand weights. And if you guys wanna know what happened to my leg, don't worry, there's a vlog coming out. I should be back on my feet, hopefully by next week. Um, to those of you out there who are in wheelchairs or amputee or working with limited mobility, Permanently, thanks for coming here. I hope you don't give up the good fight. No matter what you're going through, just know that it um, always feels better after her workout. I feel better. A little sweatier, but I feel better. Thanks so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you here next week. Now, I don't actually know if it's called that, but it fucking looks like one. You spend all your time like this. Ride the bike, ride the bike. Uh -huh.